Did he come down? Oh, there he is. There he is, guys. Look, you have probably come into contact with an Atala category. I'm looking like this piece of bird poop. Is Park benches turned on top of each other and chained up. Yeah, that's sad. Guys, we're still living in this corona world, but, but, it doesn't mean that we can't get out there and enjoy South Florida. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Literally, this is a park down the street from my house. Um, I just figured I would go on a morning walk and come down here and just turn my phone on and my camera and see what kind of butterflies I can show you on a nice little leisurely walk. It's not a very big park, guys. You can see the whole thing uh, right here. It's very well manicured, but it is very intentionally planted with butterfly attracting plants. So guys, comment down below what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, we're gonna go on more butterfly walks down here in South Florida, and we're gonna show you what's up. So guys, uh, let's go on a little walk in this little park, Coconut Creek. I'm gonna show you some bugs. Let's check it out. Okay guys, we are gonna go into this little park and see what kind of butterflies they got going on in their butterfly garden. Coconut Creek butterfly capital of the world. Uh, let's see. A tribute by Alan Fantel. Tribute to his wife, it's beautiful. All right, guys, let's see what butterflies we'll spot this is a very nicely manicured little garden. Um, I have a Jamaican, uh, oh, what's this called? I have one of these in my yard. They get really spindly real quick, so they've got to keep this well, well manicured. Somebody takes good, good attention to this. Not seeing a whole lot of activity. It is a little early. Oh, there's an oleander. All right, guys, here's, we got our first bugs of the day. Actually, interesting. These are Syntomedia epileus. Polka dotted wasp moth. If you have oleander in your yard in South Florida, you know exactly what these guys are. These little wasp moths, they lay eggs on the oleander plant and uh, they just decimate it. You can see they're going to town. These little orange caterpillars with the black hairs. They go to town on oleander. And this, this plant is absolutely infested. There's hundreds of these caterpillars on it. Well, that's bug number one. It's not a very big park. Got some Jotropha. All right, there we go, guys. White peacock. female white peacock floating around here on this Jamaican caper or Jamaican what's this stuff called I forget I forget what it's called and a big old dragonfly trying to eat my butterflies I would guess my guess all right here we have a they have aristolochia dutchman's pipe growing up all this grass here so i'm i'm kind of surprised that i'm not seeing any polydamus swallowtails look it's pipelines all over the place here oh we got some wild lime right, there's there, guys, is a giant swallowtail caterpillar. He is very, very tiny, though. First in star. Here's another one. Look. 
This is wild lime xanthoxylum. This is their one of their native host plants down here in South Florida. They've got it growing here and by this little canal. Oh, there's a little bit of a larger caterpillar. That's that bird poop mimic right there, guys. Look at that. Now, if you saw that on the ground, you would think it's bird poop, no doubt. And that is the goal. That is the goal with that mimicry example. Great mimicry example. Let's see if there's any fish. I don't see any fish. All right, now guys, here's another butterfly. I'm seeing Cameites tripunctus. Let's see if I can get close enough. Cameites tripunctus is a little brown skipper. Host, and it's hosting on this big grass. Okay, here she is. It's a female. Oh, she flew. They're only. Tripunctus only lives in South South Florida, guys. She's zipping around in there. She's being a pain in the butt. I don't know if you can see her. Very tiny, less than an inch wingspan. Probably about an inch wingspan. Well. But there they host on this grass here. So if I were to really spend some time I'm sure I could find some larval tents and find some caterpillars on this grass but Tripunctus only lives down here in South Florida uh, and the Caribbean so kind of a unique little bug if, if I could say that oh there's Polydamus Polydamus swallowtail guys it's a female she is coming in to lay some eggs guys let's see if I can get up close to her. Where is she? Oh, she's like, look, 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 look. Two of them, guys. Two polydamus swallowtails. Baddest polydamus. Guys, this is our closest relative in the United States to the bird wings. They actually are in the same general family as bird wings. They feed on the same types of plants. She's gonna lay eggs right here. They come and they taste, they taste the vine with their feet. Did you guys know that? Butterflies taste with their feet. To see if it's the right, right thing to lay eggs. Okay, well I'm waiting for the polydamus to come back. Is polydamus. Looks like she's nectar. Just waking up. One of the two. We've got Statira flying around. The uh, Statira sulfurs want nothing to do with being cooperative for videography. They fly very, very fast. As you can see. So as I'm walking around, I found on the tip of this little pipe vine plant, a cluster of polydamus swallowtail caterpillars. Check this out, guys. These guys are very, very young. First instar, they've hatched. They start, they start with the very tip of the vine and they work their way down in a cluster. And they feed as a group until probably second or third instar, and then they split up um, and start feeding solo after that. That's a healthy, healthy plant. And I'm just gonna maybe just show you the whole life cycle of this thing today. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, this looks like a cluster of what looked to be third in star polydamus just found this so they're feeding away and they 
take toxins from the host plant. And um, yeah, from what I know, they're a, a toxic butterfly or a caterpillar to eat, for a bird or something to eat because um, the plant is toxic. Cool. All right. Lots of swallowtail caterpillars. I'd like to see a big boy. Let's see if I can see a big caterpillar. Right, guys, here's the female polydamus. She must be real heavy with eggs. She's sitting now. They very rarely ever just sit there. But there she sits. She's resting. That's called a gold rim. That's their other name. So we've got those white. Uh, yellow spots that go along the hind wing and fore wing around the rim of the butterfly. So, here, there she, there she is. Fattest polydamus. Oh, here's another one. There's an iguana, I think, making some noise. All right. Let's see if I can get closer to this girl as she is doing her business. Let's see. They taste and they taste and they taste and they taste and they taste. Very picky where they lay their eggs, guys. They spend a lot of time doing this right here. They just fly around and they, they touch and they touch the, the tips of these plants. And I've watched them for sometimes 10, 20 minutes. Just zoom around, touching the tips of these plants to determine where they're gonna drop their, drop their eggs. I'm not sure exactly what it is that makes one tip better than the other. Or one little vine tendril, what makes it better than the other one? But uh, they are very picky. Because she's, just in the course of the last minute, has touched at least seven or eight of these little tips of this vine and has not dropped a single egg. But once they, once they lock into a place where they want, she'll start dropping eggs like crazy. So, All right, guys. Only because I love you all, I found a little bird poop on a leaf. And I thought that I would get the giant swallowtail caterpillar, the second instar giant swallowtail caterpillar, put it next to the poop and show you just how similar they look. I mean, this poop is not quite as interestingly patterned as the caterpillar, but, but you can see the similarity on what, what this caterpillar's uh, camouflage mimicry um, efforts are focused on guys it's really focused on looking like this piece of bird poop and so uh, i thought that was it oh, now he's starting to move that gives it away poop doesn't move <laughs> well at least not the the firm kind but anyway guys that is the deal with that how much they actually protect themselves from birds who knows but i thought that was interesting comment down below if you think that this caterpillar actually looks like bird poop or do you think if you were a bird, you would not be fooled at all? Let me know what you think. She's definitely got way more patience than I do. Way more patience than I do. What are you looking for? She's tasting. Tasting. Tasting with your feet. My kids would love to be able to do that. Yeah. I'm running out of patience, guys. I don't know about you. Um, but I actually have to get back to work and get back to my life. She's living out hers. Looking for a place to lay her eggs. 
Okay, there's a Statira Sulfur. Very interested in this wild coffee here. I'm not sure why. Two of them. Oh, this is boys fighting. Yeah, I don't know what. Two males. I don't know what they're looking for. I'm not sure what they're looking for, guys. I don't see any blooms on here. I have no idea what those sulfurs are interested in with this wild coffee. No blooms. Something smells. I think I stepped in iguana poop. Did I? No. Nope. No iguana poop. Sure smells. Something smells. All right, guys. Here is a cool skipper. It's a hammock skipper. It's a hammock skipper. Oh, come on. Cooperate. Where'd he go? He didn't cooperate. Ah, oh, hammock skipper, guys. Where did he go? Did he fly around this side? It's um, Polygonia Leo, the hammock skipper. South Florida spread wing skipper. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Nope, that's a different butterfly. Guys, this is a Brazilian skipper. Let's see if he's gonna land. And she flew away. What? Brazilian skipper, hammock skipper. We found the tri uh, three spot skipper, Chimides tripunctus. Uh, so there's lots of skipper action going on. All of a sudden. And there's a Satira. Orange barred giant sulfur, guys. Phoebus phylia, male. Uh, they typically don't. They're not very good video um, butterflies because they do exactly that. They never stop. I'll try and follow him around a little bit. He's investigating those yellow leaves of the magnolia tree. But yeah, if I'm giving you guys a headache, uh, I'm sorry. But that is what it's like to try and video a orange bar giant sulfur. So see him, he just came down over here. Did he come down? Oh, there he is. There he is, guys. Look, orange bar giant sulfur. It was one of the more impressive butterflies in South Florida, guys. 100%. It's a large butterfly, over three inch wingspan. Come on back, 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 come on back. Over three inch wingspan. But that's, that's what they do, guys. They just move. They move, they move, they move. It's incredible, the energy. I wish I had it. A little bit of that energy. I don't move nearly that fast. <laughs> to tear up, guys. Cool bug. That's a South Florida beauty right there. All right, guys, I don't know how I missed this, but I'm gonna show you one more South Florida beauty before we go. This is a Kunti plant, and probably the reason I missed it is because this thing is stripped down, and the reason it is stripped down of leaves is because of these guys. And if you have Kunti plants in South Florida, you have probably come into contact with an Atala caterpillar. Look at that, guys. Atala is a butterfly in the Lycaenid family. This is its sole host plant. It was once thought to be extinct, but has made an incredible comeback once they started farming this stuff. But they have a problem down here in South Florida that they only eat Kunti. Kunti only grows in gardens for the most part in South Florida. And people don't like it when their plants get shredded like this. So they have a problem. And they have another problem that they tend to eat themselves out of house and home. They, they're not polite. Yes, they, they'll do this. You see this, guys? This is a group of uh, Atalas, and they literally just eat it all the way down to the base. 
and they'll do this with every stock on this plant. I, I guarantee you, if I come back here and look at this plant in a week, uh, there will be no leaves left on it at all because there's about, I'd say about 20 caterpillars on this little plant and they are gonna kill it and, or not kill it, they'll decimate it, it'll grow back. Um, and they don't have any more Kuntis or Cycads in this park. So guys, these guys, unless they find some more food, um, hopefully they make it. We'll see how it goes. They actually turn cannibalistic um, if they run out of plant. So they start eating each other. Isn't that nice? Oh, the butterfly kingdom. So there's a monarch, guys. Uh, <laughs> we haven't seen that one throughout the course of our walk, but in our outro, uh, the monarch's there. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we found some bird poop caterpillars. We found some rare South Florida brown skippers. Uh, we s saw some very picky polydamus female swallowtails that are um, that are looking to lay eggs. I, I have to leave. I, they haven't laid any eggs yet, but they're just tasting, tasting, tasting. Anyway, um, ladies, if you're as picky as they are, let me know. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I, I'm not as picky. My wife is a little bit more picky than I am. Uh, but guys, uh, let me know if you like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below uh, where you would like me to go next. If there's a park in South Florida you'd like me to go and travel to and do a little video like this and show what they have in that park, um, let me know what park you'd like me to go to. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.